this thing called Candy Crush, right? So he's like, yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to play more than Candy Crush. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, calm down there, buddy. And you're the side of the store, this sweet, dear, adorable old lady, you know, on a walker. <laughs> so, this dear sweet old lady, she wanted to get a magazine out of the bottom rack. A magazine rack, but she could have, obviously, because she was, you know, pretty old. So then this, she asked her sister for this guy, and she's like, Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. This guy didn't even give her, like, a second chance. He's like, Whatever, bro. So then, you know, she tries again, and this time, you know, she used her cage. She's like, Excuse me, excuse me. Next thing you know, this guy turns beet red, like tomato red, veins popping in his forehead. He's, he just goes off. He's like, oh, thanks a lot, baby, right? Oh, uh, no, 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 so then we have the courage to say, like, oh, huh, you said you were wrong, right? Come on, baby, buddy, you get it. Come on, remember World War II? Remember World War II when you had to the Nazis in the trenches? Say things. Gotta get down. Gotta get down. Man, this guy had the courage to say that. It's, it's unbelievable how society's changing nowadays. One of the other things I'm seeing is the older generations on Facebook and Instagram, especially now that my mom wants to do Facebook, that's, that scares the heck out of me. She's actually happy right now because I didn't get her a smartphone. So the other day we were browsing and browsing, you know, checking out phones. You know, in the front, you know, there's all the cool little phones, like the iPhone 5, and we're just going bananas. And then in the back, there's all the, you know, discount phones. So, you guys ever notice that as you go down to the discount phones, they get like shadier and like, Shadier is like, is this even a real phone? It's like, okay, I, it's a big bird with a ten, a nice, nice one. No, you're not gonna get my money. So my mom was mad at me because she was all like, me mom, you're gonna have a smartphone. I want to go on Facebook. It's like, what? What? What do you want on Facebook for? It's like, calm down, lady. I mean, what are you gonna do with it? Man, it's like. So I don't know if it's called, I don't know if you guys seen it, but have you guys ever heard of the jitterbug? Is it's called for people who are older than the weather? And it's got these big old buttons, it weighs like 10 pounds. And I don't know what it is with people that are older, but when they're seem to get like something new in the phone, they think that they're younger. Because this is the commercials, they're like, oh, I just got the jitterbug, you know, this guy in the wheel are doing car clips. Like, jitterbug! It's like, unrealistic, right? So I walked my mom with this phone. And she was pretty pissed. Like, you, you spent 25 bucks on your mom, and you know, they're still not happy. It's like, what did you have to do for me? Like, you gave me birth. Big deal. What, well, you didn't have birth? You know what I did? I made an old lady get her book, get her, her magazine. That's what I did. Not as cool as me, not as cool as me. So then, she gets even more pissed, but she's like, you know, when I want to go on, you better have no food. On the, you know, we have good deals. It's like, wow, no. It just, just scared me because imagine your own mom on Facebook, how many statuses. It's bad enough that my mom calls me every 30 minutes. It's like, you know, how did you run the daily? You know, how did you run the mall? You know, where are you? Like, you know, I, I miss you. Like, I text. I just left like five minutes ago. What was wrong? So I'm just afraid that whenever I go out with my friends, especially I like going to Pasadena, that's that's where it's at right now. So I can just imagine, you know, putting on my Facebook status, you know, all right, Pasadena, dressed to impress. Oh! So then I just imagine, you know, just scrolling down and my mom making a comment, and I don't know what is it, but parents, why do you guys leave the longest and the lamest? Facebook comments on your kids. It's like a sad, like, World War II memoir. It's like, like, oh, I'm just updating my status. Like, okay. 
I can just imagine, you know, being in a club, you know.